Hello everyone and welcome to another high elo game of Age of Empires. Today it's raining, it's pouring, but I'm not yet snoring because I'm busy watching MBL playing as the Teutons in green take on ACCM playing as the Slavs in red. Now while the players heard their hurtables explore, their immediate surroundings get into a bit of a traffic jam between zebras and ostriches and try to go up to feudal as fast as possible. Let's take a look at the Civ matchup we'll be watching today. Now we saw them yesterday, the Teutons. Man, are they a tough nut to crack. Like the Byzantines, they are designed to be as tough as possible to take a bruising. All of their barracks and stable units get free extra melee armor in Castle and Imperial. Their siege units can be upgraded to get melee armor. And their towers and town centers both have extra space to garrison units and fire extra arrows. Take a look at the bottom left of your screen. 0 out of 25 compared to the generic 0 out of 15. Now, they also get murder holes and herbal medicine for free, which means their castles can shield their units while they heal six times faster. Now, these same Teutonic castles can be upgraded to get a massive extra range boost of plus three and also fire arrows when infantry is inside, which is something that no other Civ in the game can do. Now, on the field of battle, all Teutonic units have a higher resistance to conversion, which is great because if they're hurt, their monks can heal them from twice the distance which is fantastic news for their unique unit, the incredibly slow, incredibly powerful, and well-armored Teutonic Knight. Now, to support a big, hungry population, Teutonic farms do come in at 40% off, and look at that, MBL has managed to pull an elephant without any damage whatsoever, something that I have been on a bit of a kick on lately. If you guys have watched my videos, you know I am uh, absolutely obsessed. Let's watch ACCM do it now. Looks like the elephant will catch up. Will he catch up? Yeah, it's so hard. Elephants and rhinos. <laughs> so, so hard to pull without taking any damage in any event. We've got the Slavs in red. A sieve that very much focuses on their melee units. Slavic infantry, which is already quite strong, can be upgraded to actually do trample damage. And their unique unit, the Boyar, is basically a Teutonic Knight on a horse. This is a fairly slow but super tanky, powerful cavalry unit that comes with a massive amount of armor, both melee and pierce as a base. And to support their melee units on the field of battle against harassment by things like ranged units, all Slavic siege workshop units are cheaper, which is fantastic because Slavs have access to every single siege workshop unit except for bombard cannons, and their castles can actually be upgraded to cost 40% less stone. So once you build your first castle, which of course you have to pay full stone for, you can then research detonets, which will mean you save 260 stone per castle. That is replaced with wood. Oh, second pull. Looks like he might actually get away with this one. No, 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 no. It's closing in. Oh, more damage on the villager. Now, economically, the Slavs, to support their military production, both supplies and gambesons come for free. Their farmers work 10% faster. And their barracks, their archery ranges, their stables, and their siege workshops actually provide five population space. So we'll take a look when he builds his first uh, barracks, just like a house, which frees up a little bit of wood in the early game, which is exactly when a little bit of wood goes a long, long way. Looks like ACCM has now discovered where MBL is located. MBL, for his part, has also discovered where his opponent is located. By the way, let's take a look at the map and see how the players are situated while they uh, both get loom at the same time. I'm assuming both are going to go up to feudal. Also, at the same time, it looks like it looks like actually no player has an advantage over that. It looks like green by just a split second. In any event, both have 18 villagers, both exploring the map. Good time to take a look and zoom out. Primary gold for ACCM a little bit exposed in the front. Primary stone kind of in the back. I like these two forests basically means that he's got an easy wall off here and secondary gold in the back as well. We'll keep an eye on this barracks, even though it's only halfway done. I want to show you, take a look at the population space. 19 out of 20 will become 19 out of 25 once this barracks finishes. And then we can move right along to take a look at the Teutonic base, which to me is uh, looks fairly interesting from the mini map. And there it goes. 19 out of 25 the second that... Although it, it kind of makes sense for the barracks, right? Because if you take a look, if you haven't noticed, the barracks is just a house with a palisade wall around it and a bit of a stone defense. 
So the the fact that this counts as five population space kind of makes sense. But also, archery rangers and stables and siege workshops. Take a look at our Teutonic base. Open much? What is with these maps lately becoming uh, quite... Uh, what, what is the word I'm looking for? Uneven? In any event, primary gold, though, secure in the back. Primary stone, very exposed in the front. And a backwards three shape. But yeah, our Teuton, a little bit exposed here. Might want to create a funnel where M a ACCM needs to engage through a town center archer fire, or rather town center fire period, if he wants to enter the base. Not making any kind of attempt to wall himself off. Has one, two, three forests nearby. So these forests are nice. They're close. They're hugging his town center. The problem for him is he is very exposed in the front. Whereas take a look at ACCM. I think the forests... At least the one to the right is very far away. Although, does he even need it? He's, he's even got a fourth nearby. ACCM, very busy walling himself in. Second scout out. A third one on the way. Where are his spearmen? Expecting some kind of counter-aggression here. Are you on patrol or are you on move command? We'll see if he turns his little butt around and walks back for now. Looks like he's just sending spearmen to opposite sides of his base. In the event that he sees exactly what he sees right now, which is a green scout. Oh, takes a poke, takes a prod. ACCM a little too slow to wall this off, so that scout does escape. But his scouts see his opponent's base. And now this is very much a villager who's dead, even with the spearman coming. And now the spearman could potentially die. This is a fascinating matchup because these sieves are quite similar. Like I said, the boy are... Everyone likes to joke around that that is a Teutonic Knight on a horse, and they are not wrong. I hope we get to see Boyars. I get we. I hope we get to see Teutonic Knights. These are also two sieves with farm-related bonuses. One with cheaper farms. One with farms that work 10% faster, rather are tilled 10% faster. Dead Scout here first three kills for ACCM, one of which is a villager. Two kills for these guys. Let's see what he can do here. Is defending well with his spearmen. He's got four spearmen. Nine army supply to six. 27 villagers to 20. Uh, 27 villagers. Yeah, to 26. Although it does look like he finally loses his first unit. And that unit is a villager. So villager count evens up. So pretty excited to watch this game. To be honest. Two fantastic players. Two very interesting sieves matched up. On a map that, by the way, take a look, literally a stone's throw away from each other. A big open space for these two to battle it out. Another scout bites the dust. Kill count 6 to 1 in favor of our slab. Our Teuton continues to just move out with small clumps of units. Although two spearmen need to be careful. Five scouts could potentially do some damage, but three of them are already weakened. At half HP, less than half, 53 out of 135 is very much below half. Our Tudin undeterred, moving out. Now ACCM is going to run into a bit of a wall off here. I never noticed that these houses have little paths, little rocky paths. That's pretty cute. I remember when I was in high school, my dad uh, bought, went to Home Depot and bought a bunch of those stones. And then we spent a few hot summer days putting those in. Man. That was not easy. Getting rid of the old concrete uh, slabs, putting in new ones. Man. But I think we got pizza at the end of it, so that makes it okay. You guys know how much I love my junk food. Let's take a look. Blacksmith market for our Teuton, who is not banking any serious amount of resources, whereas our slab, holy moly, 70 food, 70 gold away from clicking up to castle, but what does he have? Where's the secondary structure? Of course, as part of the wall off to the back, the blacksmith. So once he gets 20 more gold, ACCM will click up very far ahead of his opponent, assuming he does, which of course, right as I finish that sentence, he does. Scouts attacking a stable. Okay, not a bad distraction here. Not too sure they'll, they're going to accomplish much. And now our Teuton also rushing up to castle. Although a good 20 seconds behind his opponent. 
Someone's going to get attacked by a lion. Someone's getting mauled here, and it is our Teuton. Led the way. Get mauled by a lion as a, as a thank you for his bravery. Oh no, he's going to get mauled by a second lion? Oh my god. <laughs> this is horrible. It looks like the lion's mauling the red unit. Who are they even attacking? This is crazy town over here. Okay, red decides, you know what? I've had enough. I'm not going to chase green. I'm just going to attack these lions, kill them. This lion is undeterred moving forward. Oh my god, is he going to get a... Sp Let's follow along on the lion's journey. Is he going to get the actual spearman? Can he? What's the movement speed? One, no. One to point seven. Oh, <laughs> MBL notices. Oh, that was so close. How much HP on that one spearman? Five HP. So what? Two more attacks by the lion? Yeah, two more attacks. <laughs> that was so close. That was just so ridiculously close and hilarious. Four versus six means four has to run the hell away. Even with this extra scout coming in from the south, not going to accomplish much. Oh, our Dutton's moving out. He's going to hit castle in 20 seconds. His opponent hits castle first. And what does ACCM do with, the, with his advantage? One more spearman for him. Oh, he's going to see the villagers. Okay, so the element of surprise is now gone for our Teuton, who's building a monastery, expecting exactly what our Slav is doing. And our Slav adding in his own monastery as well, Ark of the Covenant being lowered into its secret compartment. Okay. Red continuing to lead in the kill count, but... It is evening up. Seven kills to five is a lot different than six to one. ACCM cannot reveal this knight unless he goes to the right side of the stable, in which case, what the hell was the point of building it? What does he have in here as well? A spearman. And so we'll see what he decides to do. Shooing away this force with one monk. Another monastery here for our Teuton. Remember, they can heal their units from twice the distance. So this one spearman, oh, uh, look at these. It looks like he was slowly being healed. For a quick second, his HP went from five to six. Give him at least seven so he can take two lion attacks. There it is. Okay, so now, he, <laughs> now he's being healed. He is free to roam around the map, look for lions. But ACCM making an issue of it, seeing that his opponent's army entirely is on his side of the map, brings forward the remnants of his feudal age army. Oh, no, he's not paying attention. This pike... One down. One scout dies immediately, and now these spearmen are going to surround the pike. Another pike joins in. A villager comes to help. The battle of the little tiny bars. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who knew that the pike was such a huge improvement over the spearmen here as they fight each other out? Or they fight each other to the death, rather. Two monasteries and a siege workshop. A modified Hoang push here out of MBL. Sanctity being researched for our slab. And green, not exactly the strongest army, but when your army supply is 17 to 3, it doesn't really have to be, does it? What are you guys? You are three pikemen. Three little pike from school, are we? Moving to the north of the base. Monastery will fall. Monk on monk violence. Oh my goodness. Both players researching the hell out of their monk lines. Making sure that they can convert anything and everything under the sun. And let's see what they... Uh they can do the monasteries down the stable is down our slab is in a in a spot of bother here and the Teutons inside the base remember now that this is castle these guys come with plus one melee armor even though our Teuton take a look at the top left hasn't researched a single upgrade for his armor they automatically come with plus one but remember if the slabs can do anything it's build siege units at 15 percent discount at a 15% discount, rather. 
Where are his villagers here? Okay, so they're kind of just idling by. Would love to see them maybe take the gold, move forward a little bit so they can repair this ram. Red. Uh, okay, just kind of hanging out here in the north of the map, maybe hoping to catch an errant villager of some kind. But here we go. Our slab dropping his first castle. This is a lot of villagers, 15. But there's a lot of army supply here. Three of these monks can try to convert a bunch of these guys. But Artudin says, no, nah, oh, no, 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 never mind. I thought Artudin was going to say, no, I'm not going to contest this castle. Loses his mangonel. Oh, no. And now it's attacking his monks, and now the castle is out. Are they within the castle? If these pike attack the house, are they within the castle's firing distance? Firing range? Certainly looks like it. And now Green retreats. He's abandoning ship. Two monasteries and a siege workshop, but a very aggressive second town center while a third one goes up in a safer location. This is incredibly aggressive. I guess he wants to defend these villagers who are mining stone at the moment. Our slab already a second, a third town center up. So both sitting at three, but what do you do? With a castle, I mean, he managed to get 700 HP off of it, which kind of softens it up for any follow-up attack. Actually, was this a third? No, the, I think this was the fourth. This is the third. So our Tudin here, look, look at the villager count. He's up four to three town centers. He's investing in handcart at the moment. But he just doesn't have villagers. He's producing six at a time. Our slab is producing four at a time, but is already ahead. 23 villagers. Oh, and one more whack, and the monk is dead. This is why he kept that scout there. Pike. Oh, man. Oh, look at the trap closing. <gasps> is he going to get another one? No, he did, did not want to sacrifice. I, he probably could have gotten that monk. No, <laughs> after all that. After all that. Okay, but he deeks around them. He deeks around them. There's another chance and another opportunity maybe to get the one here and he escapes so not exactly the most useful but a very lucky scout here from our slab oh the monk is going to get surrounded by at least four pike yep at least four pike a pike for a monk Ooh, not the best trade to put it mildly Okay, Artutin is now down only 19 villagers, only 20 villagers. Still has an army supply lead, but now we've got seven monks, two pike, spearmen. Quite the motley assortment of army supply here for our slab, who moves forward with a king of the hill castle. I love this location for the castle. Absolutely epic. Two relics to none for Artutin, who looks like he uh, brought the relic over here from the monk that died earlier. But there is a red monk slowly plodding his way down the north side of the map. I'm surprised our slab hasn't m sent anything to attack this, to destroy this, to do something to it. 17 army supply to 12. Our Tutan is housed at 105. That's just why exactly he's building two houses. And now a counter castle by him. He hasn't seen this castle, has he? So he has enough game sense to try to take this hill. He's going to discover this castle when these pike move straight into it. No, never mind. Never mind. Look how far away, by the way, that monk was healing those pike. And here we go. All you need, just one monk. One monk to convert these structures. Will he allow it to get converted? Yes, he does. Not paying attention because he's busy building this castle on the hill, but a third castle for our... Oh, man, a third castle for our slab. Ooh, these villagers are taking a good amount of damage, but they do still manage to finish the castle. It is on the high ground. It is Teutonic. But this one's filled with one monk. This one's filled with three pike. So neither castle attacking. Petards being built for our Teuton. Oh, man. So right now, no one's firing any extra arrows. 
No crenellations just yet for our Teuton, which means that these infantry don't add, unless he researched it and I didn't see it. Both players heading up to Imperial again, roughly at the same time. Our Teuton about seven seconds ahead. Boom goes the dynamite. And this castle is now down to 3,000 HP. Another Teutonic castle being built. Another ram being sent forward. Monastery still up and running. This monk has full faith. Just right click on the structure and you are good to go. Instead, moving forward, will he try to convert the uh, ram? Will he try to convert the ram? He's just kind of staring at it. Just kind of staring at the ram, willing it to go away. 1500 HP. Another castle. He must have gotten detonates because I don't think he had 650 stone. Unless I'm completely wrong. I was not looking at his stone count. <laughs> Two pike, a scorpion, and three monks are moving forward. We'll get spotted by this amazing little colony of houses here. I love what MBL is doing here. These are basically spotting houses. They're designed to, to give him vision. And now two castles on the high ground attacking one on the low ground. Petards, no, but Trebs are coming out. Long Swordsman, Conscription, Wheelbarrow, Plate Armor, Our Slab is going Infantry. Redemption finally for our Teuton means he can convert Siege and Buildings, Bodkin, Chemistry. He is upgrading these castles because I don't see a single ranged unit for him. Let's see Druzhina for our Slav. That is the upgrade that gives his infantry trample damage. And by the way, it does five damage to units within a half a tile radius, which is pretty bonkers. Two Trebs on the high ground. Miss. Both of them miss. Let's see it. Okay, both of them land. One of these has to land. One of them does. But there are two Trebs here to the right. A Treb to the south. And now our Teuton is under siege. How many villagers repairing? 15 villagers sent to repair this castle. While at the same time, Pike, Scorpions, and Monks are here. Though the Monks, okay, just kind of hanging out. Scouts find another monk that's kind of hanging out. Now he's going to be hanging out in the afterlife. But a second Slavic castle will go down. Now the Trebs immediately pivot to the right. And what are they going to do? One attacking. Two attacking the lumber camp. Bombard cannon out for our Teuton. Another two on the way. Champions. Army supplies identical, villager supplies basically identical. No area of effect range means no Druzhina just yet, but two-handed swordsmen are here. Should they have gone for the Trebs between the castles, or should they have gone for the Bombards? So far, they're not getting much done except the Treb or two. And now that we're in Imperial, by the way, check out the melee armor of the Pike, plus two. Uh, MBL, not really upgrading anything at the moment take a look at his upgrades no melee no armor and no armor for the uh, ranged units either two pike circling around predatory pikemen <laughs> he's got it either i missed it or he's getting derusion oh my god two teutonic knights with no attack upgrades whatsoever are destroying a castle. In theory, they're going to get the castle because there is no murder holes there. Tudens, of course, get that for free. Bombard pit swiveled south instead of east. And now our Tudens got hand cannoneers. He saw the infantry, so he pumped out a unit that has not only a 17 attack, but a plus 10 bonus against infantry. And what the hell is the Bombard cannon shooting at? A champion. A champion with gambesons. And the mini-map is aflame. We've got one scorpion. When the hell is the last time we saw a base being raided by a scorpion? Over here, we've got barracks. It is ACCM's plan to absolutely confuse and pull apart our Teuton with barracks to the right, barracks to the south, and barracks everywhere else. I'm going to zoom out at the end and see how many barracks he has. But for now, these Trebs are doing an amazing job of clearing up infrastructure. Actually, let me zoom out right now. Sorry to anyone on a tiny screen. Ten barracks right now. And they are everywhere. A castle going up over here. Hand cannoneers taking on champions. 
they need to back away use your range but these champions are not going to catch up especially not with these four down here just continuing to attack and how do you even begin to cast a game like this block printing for these monks will give them plus three range okay random 12 we've got a teutonic knight <laughs> a teutonic knight with no upgrades oh my goodness oh my goodness finally does research a plus one melee armor upgrade otherwise known as scale mail armor and these teutonic knights are out but now we've got boyars on the way why wow, this one boyar is going to absolutely destroy these uh knights he didn't, he didn't even need the castle oh my god champions trying to bust their way into the base villagers finally have had enough they have paid their taxes but the military is not here and so they take matters into their own hands more champions streaming to the south oh accm if he can pull this off this is going to be amazing but it looks like the minimap has died down a little bit mbl has stabilized somewhat oh my god what we've all been wanting to see teutonic knight versus boyar one unit with 11 melee armor one unit with four base i believe that jumps to an eight when they uh when they go elite which is uh neither here nor there at the moment champions being shoot away by hand cannoneers to the north champions being shoot away by hand cannoneers to the south in the center champions running amok because there's nothing here but a castle and a few bombards to defend but accm has lost all three of his forward castles has one defensive one way off campus here not a bad location protecting the stone protecting the lumber protecting a whole bunch of villagers another castle and he is going theocracy he is going illumination he is going monk play what does he think is going to come out of these uh i mean look at this seven i guess 10 is the uh, elite seven base melee armor versus four base melee armor let's see it again oh but the hand cannoneers are here now it's an unfair fight hand cannoneers basically don't give a they give a rat's ass what your armor is did he get drujina yet no he did not and now the teutonic knight where's he going are you, attack the treb yeah it looks like he's gonna attack the treb right boom does he sheath his sword every time he attacks? Kind of looks like it, right? It's a bit of a waste of energy. You're already wearing armor that's insanely tough, and the boyars, oh my god. Let's look at the stats of this unit. Six melee armor, four pierce, 12 base attack. Now theocracy, illumination, and block printing for our uh, Teuton as well. We've got Teutonic boyars. How many? Two for now. But the monks all laid down their lives. And champions as well. So a good amount of converts there. Boyars do not move very fast. 1.3 movement speed. And look at the army supply after that engage. 53 to 16. Elite boyars are on the way. So now watch their armor. Not a bad upgrade when you've got 12 of them. To the north. A champion, a monk, a barracks full of a few champions. And look at his uh, stats jump up from four and two base to three, two, one, eight and three base. That is just insanity. 11 melee armor, 150 HP, the Teutonic Knight, 80 HP, but the stats are much better attack wise armor wise and even though this is not an elite unit oh man oh man oh he does ultimately end up dying but again there's hand cannon ears here which armor means nothing oh our Teuton loses his boyar force a monk and now his barracks is under attack is accm gonna do this with a uh with a tactic of confusion followed by brute force trauma from these boyars 17 boyars only one champion left i keep looking on their stats hoping to see if i missed uh drujina their uh trample damage i wonder why he removed these hand cannoneers does he know that the barracks is here yeah he does so why remove your defense now these villagers are ripe for the picking 
Oh, what a sour loss there for ACCM. Remember, Halberd Ears might not do a lot of immediate damage, but they have a follow-up bonus of plus 32. Which abs... Nope. Oh, I was going to say absolutely takes down any cavalry. Wow. ACCM, holy moly. I mean, MBL wins it, but ACCM going going goth on, uh, on MBL's ass with all these barracks everywhere, although they've been cleaned up here, they've been cleaned up here. I think he just maybe took too much damage. Let's look at the stats right at the end of their 84 army supply to 16 ACCM. So much food, so much wood, but no gold whatsoever. The Tudin looks like he managed to get him off this gold pile as well. His primary gold, Nullified, has no more gold anywhere, does he? No. What were these? With the pickaxe. Yeah, gold miners. So he's depleted his gold. And his primary gold here with these five patches. Oh, man, unminable. Like I said, boy, are so good with their amazing... Look at that amazing armor. But... Against, uh, I'm circling the monk for some reason, against the hand cannoneer is, uh, <laughs> armor means nothing. And even though he did a good amount of damage here, nothing really to stop him. Look at his villager count. Did he go way too much on the villagers? 163. 61 hand cannoneers to 95 champions. Peak APM. Okay, for MBL, about a, a two -third, uh, third of the way through the game. For ACCM, like, Right at the beginning of the game. Economy must be so much better for our Slav. I mean, it's better, but... With 50 villager difference, 163 to 114, it's not that much better. It's not 50% it's not better. Let's take a look. A lot more wood. A lot more food. He's down on gold, and stone is basically less than a, I, I'll, less than a castle's worth. Although, if I, I know, you know what? For the Slav, did, he must have gotten detonates while I wasn't looking, right? Where is he? So he hits castle here. It is a castle age upgrade, I believe. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I guess he didn't. Interesting. Or is that an economic upgrade? So he hits castle here. No. Doesn't look like uh, ACCM got any economic upgrades after the... After hitting castle. Isn't that funny? All of the... Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, 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 he did. Man, you guys know how confused I get with these charts. In any event, relics? Not really playing a role. Both players having just about the same amount. Kill count, 178, 179 for Artutin. 25 villagers. ACCM killed so many villagers, but so little army. And the fact that he killed so little army means that Artutin has just busted right in. I wish we got to see oh so much Tutan army everywhere. I wish we got to see more Teutonic knights versus uh Boyars, but even seeing just a little bit, man, how scintillating, how titillating it is. One day, one day maybe we'll get to see a big old battle between these high elo players where the Teutonic Knights take on the Boyars, their mounted cousins from another mother but so far holy shit ACCM tried to goth our Tutan our Tutan it looked like for a second about 15 20 minutes ago the minimap was on fire and our Tutan just look at this settlement look at this this is massive amounts of infrastructure for him five archery ranges six barracks to the what of what of our slav Five barracks, one stable. I guess he had castles. This one, what happened to this one? Where is this? Oh, it's just being built. So only two castles right now for ACCM. And the boy are not a cheap unit. This guy costs 70 gold, which is very expensive. <laughs> Compared to the 30 gold of the Teutonic Knight. And roughly, uh, not that much less food, 60 to 85. I think it's 85. Yeah, 60 to 85. So overall, at the end of the day, ACCM put up an amazing amount of aggression. 
but ultimately just runs out of steam because he runs out of gold. And what do you build here when you're out of gold? Now, if you go trample damage infantry, which I really thought he was going to when he was going up the guts here with all those champions, that is a very expensive upgrade. Druzhina, I think, is the most expensive upgrade a unique upgrade in the game. If not the most, then at least the top three or four. I shouldn't say the most. It's top three or four most expensive upgrades in the game. And so had he spent that, he couldn't have been built Boyars. But man, what an absolutely fun game. ACCM just tried to overwhelm multi-directionally. When's the last time we saw Scorpion raiding villagers on its own? The villagers finally had enough. Who got the kill on that scorpion, by the way? Any of these villagers? Yeah, somebody here's got a kill. Who is it? Who's the who's the champion villager? It's this guy. This guy with the one kill. And look at him. This is like um who is it? Cincinnatus in ancient Rome. Led his people to victory, became dictator for a day or whatever amount of period of time, and then went back to his farm and lived out the rest of his life. Amazing, amazing, such a fun game. But overall, our Slav, who tried to put on an insane amount of aggression, could not overwhelm. I, I am really surprised that MBL's micro was only 120. I was for sure going to think it would be at least in the 180 range, or one, 150 to 200. I would have for sure thought, given that he was in a, under attack in four different locations at once, the Scorpion to the back, the Champions trying to bust in, Champions over here, and then champions going up the guts over here, plus whatever other shenanigans ACCM. Man, did ACCM put on a lot of pressure. But overall, MBL, our Teuton, stands strong as the Teutons do, takes the big W. But GG to both players. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're notified of my latest uploads.